Christmas University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. 14 teams of alumni bravely put themselves up to compete in this festive little series. And now, with the first round matches finished, only the four surviving teams with the highest scores remain to play in the semi-finals. And with only 30 points between those scores, the competition is utterly unpredictable. Now, St John's College, Oxford, are here with the highest score from the first round when they won against Christ College, Cambridge. Again, they're fielding an Oscar-winning visual effects filmmaker, the BBC's business editor, an award-winning novelist and a professor of psychology at Cambridge University. Let's get them to introduce themselves again. Hello, I'm Paul Franklin and I studied fine art at St John's, graduating in 1989. I design visual effects for feature films and television shows and I am the co-founder and creative director of DNEG Visual Effects. Hi, I'm Simon Jack. I graduated in 1992 with a degree in politics, philosophy and economics and I'm now a financial journalist for the BBC. And this is their captain. Hello, I'm John Lanchester. I read English at St John's. I graduated in 1984 and I'm a writer. Hello, I'm Usha Goswami. I read psychology at St John's Oxford and then I stayed at St John's for a DPhil for another three years. But now I'm a professor in psychology at St John's College, Cambridge. Now, the team from the Courtauld Institute of Art are here having beaten another London College goldsmiths in their first round match. And their team again consists of the director of the Design Museum, a writer and professor of creative writing at Royal Holloway, an art publisher and writer, and a Turner Prize winning artist. Let's meet the Courtauld crew again. Hello, I'm Tim Marlow. I graduated from the Courtauld with an MA in 20th century art history at the end of the 1980s, and I'm now director of the Design Museum. Hello, I'm Lavinia Greenlaw. I'm a writer and I took a master's in 17th century Dutch art at the Courtauld in the 90s. And this is their captain. Hello, I'm Jackie Klein. I graduated with a master's in modern art from the Courtauld in 2001 and I'm now an art publisher and writer. Hello, my name's Jeremy Della. I graduated from the Courtauld in 1988 and I'm an artist. <laughs> OK, fingers on buzzers. Here's your first starter for ten. Recorded in Germany in 1963, what is the usual title of the two-handed British comedy sketch, also called The 90th Birthday, in which... St John's Franklin. Uh, dinner for one. Dinner for one is correct, yes. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on an annual prize. In 1987, the South African politician Cyril Ramaphosa became the first recipient of which annual prize? It is awarded for an outstanding achievement in the spirit of the assassinated Swedish Prime Minister after whom it's named. Uh, Olaf Palmer. Uh, the Palmer Prize. Olaf Palmer. Olaf Palmer is the correct full name, yes. Which British author was awarded the 2019 Olaf Palmer Prize? The prize organisers called his career an extraordinary contribution to the necessary fight for freedom, democracy and social justice. It's not Stephen Pinker, is it? British. Oh, British. Peter Haynes. Writer? Oh, writer. Yeah, it's a writer. Um, British writer. Social justice, social justice. No, sorry. It's John Le Carre. Le Carre announced that he would donate the $100,000 prize to which international humanitarian aid organisation founded in France in 1971? Medecins Sans Frontières. Frontières. Medecins Sans Frontières. Correct. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Nellie Dean is a narrator of which early Victorian novel? She's a housekeeper at Thrushcross Grange and a servant to the Earnshaw and the Linton families. Courtauld Greenlaw. Wuthering Heights. Wuthering Heights is correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on Greek mythology. In the 3rd century BCE, Apollonius of Rhodes wrote an epic poem about which band of heroes named after the ship in which they sailed to Colchis? Argonauts. The Argonauts. The Argonauts is correct. Depicting a companion of Heracles on the voyage of the Argo, Hylas and the Nymphs is a painting of 1896 in the Manchester Art Gallery by which artist? 1896. Lord Layton. But it was the one that was controversial, wasn't it? Lord Layton. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Lord Layton. No, it's Waterhouse. 
Also known as paper nautiluses, Argonauta is a genus of cephalopods in which animal phylum? Yeah, so or squid. Yes, exactly. Or octopus or something. No, it's not octopus. No. I think I think it's um jellyfish. Try jellyfish. Jellyfish. No, they're mollusks. <laughs> they're a kind of octopus. Ten points for this. Subtitled An Optical Revolution, an exhibition at the Museum of Fine Arts in Ghent in 2020 was dedicated to Got old Greenlaw. Van Eyck. Correct. Well done. <laughs> Your bonuses are on Wisdom's Cricketers of the Year for 2020. In each case, name the person from the description. First, he finished second in Australia's wicket-takers charts at the World Cup and was the leading wicket-taker in his country's first successful Ashes defence in England since 2001. Um, God. <laughs> um, Nathan Lyon. Nathan Lyon. Nathan Lyon. No, no, it's Pat Cummins. Secondly, the star of Australia women's ashes defence, taking seven for 22 in the last of three one-day internationals and scoring 187 runs for once out in the only test match. It's either Elise Perry or uh, Healy. I um, can't remember the first name. Which one do you think? Try Elise Perry. We're going to try Elise Perry. Correct. Hurrah! Finally, born in Barbados, in the World Cup, he bowled the final winning super over. He then claimed six wicket hauls in each of England's win in their drawn Ashes series with Australia. Joffre Archer. Joffre Archer. Correct. <laughs> We're going to take a picture right now. If you're a picture starter, you're going to see a map with a sub-national division indicated. For ten points, please give me its name. St John's Goswami. Alsace Lorraine. No. It's Saxony. So picture bonuses when someone gets a starter question right. Ten points for this. Dropped after its inclusion in the 1924 Winter Olympic Games, which team sport was reintroduced as a demonstration sport in 1932? Sometimes described as chess on ice. It was reinstated. St John's Franklin. Curling. Curling is correct, yes. <laughs> so you get the picture bonuses. You'll recall that we saw Saxony in the starter question for the picture round. It's one of five new Bundesländer which were re-established as part of the reunification of Germany 30 years ago in 1990. For your picture bonuses, name three more of the new Bundesländer. Firstly... It's not uh, Crusher, is it? No, um, it's the one that's called... The beach one. Um, oh, yes. No idea. People oh, Gamunda or something. Sorry? Like Gamunda. Gamunda. Um, it could be. It's, it's a former bit of the East. Um, Let's have it, please. Uh, Gamunda. No, it's Mecklenburg, Mecklenburg, West Pomerania. And secondly? <laughs> what, um, Bavaria? No, it's not Bavaria. No, no, it's it's uh, where... Um, Schleswig-Holstein. No, it's um, Baden, Baden. No, oh, that's no. in the south. Um, <laughs> it's where the forests and the small mountains are. The Black oh. Forest. Come on, let's have it, please. Uh, Hearts. At Saxony Anhalt. And finally, hmm. no, that's the bit around Berlin. Um, no, no, I don't know. It's called Ansbach or something. Ansbach, something. Ansbach. No, that's Brandenburg. Ten points for this. Meridian, Gulfport and Biloxi are among cities in which US state? The birthplace of... Cotold the... Marlowe. Louisiana. Now, you lose five points. The birthplace of the civil rights campaigner Medgar Evers and the author William Faulkner. <laughs> St John's confirm. Lanchester. Mississippi. Mississippi is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on early science fiction films. Subtitled Tragedy of Power, which German science fiction film of 1920 shares its name with the so-called Demon Star, a binary variable in the constellation Perseus? Alrone? No, it's Algol. 
Featuring stop-motion animated dinosaurs, which 1925 film adaptation of a novel by Arthur Conan Doyle starred Wallace Beery as Professor Challenger? The Lost World. Um, the Lost World. Correct. And finally, Art Deco skyscrapers resembling those of Manhattan feature in which 1927 film by Fritz Lang starring Bridget Helm and Alfred Abel? Metropolis. Metropolis. Metropolis, Metropolis is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. The term phenicoid is applied to fungi growing in environments whose soil chemistry has altered through exposure to what process? St John's Franklin. Fire. Fire is correct. Three questions on cities that host winter festivals. Which North American city hosts a major winter carnival with a parade on routes that may include the Grand Allée and Place Georges V? Vancouver. Um, no, no, um, the other one, Montreal. 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 No, it's Quebec City. Which northern Japanese city holds an annual festival featuring giant sculptures carved from packed snow? It hosted the Winter Olympics in 1972. I'm pretty sure it's Sapporo. No. Sapporo. Sapporo is correct. The northernmost provincial capital of China. Which city hosts an ice and snow festival said to be the largest in the world? Northernmost city. Um, um, Mokden, was that in Mongolia? What about... Is it Mongolia part of it? No, but it's not. No, Mongolian up north of China. Well, it's north of China, but it's... Actually, I don't know which side of the border. Is Baku in Russia or China? Yes, yeah, Baku's Russia. Um, uh, I'm going to go with Mukden. It's Harbin. Ten points for this. Along with Raymond Gosling, who co-authored a paper in the science journal Nature in April 1953 that stated, the structure is probably helical, the phosphate groups lie on the outside of the structural unit on a helix of diameter about... St John's Franklin. Watson and Crick. Now you lose five points. On a helix of diameter about 20 angstroms. Dear, oh dear, the two cultures are alive and well. It's Rosalind Franklin. Ten points for this. What short given name links all of these? The 19th century painter of ploughing in the Nivernais a revolutionary socialist murdered in Berlin in 1919, and a central figure of the Montgomery bus boycott of the mid-1950s. Cotol Della. Rosa. Rosa is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on artists and their nicknames. Born in Florence in 1445, Alessandro di Mariano Filippi is better known by what nickname after his brother's nickname of Little Barrel? Botticelli. Botticelli. Botticelli is correct, meaning ox head and perhaps indicating his stubbornness. What nickname was given to the approximate contemporary of Dante, who wrote of him in the Purgatory that he thought he held the field, but now it's Giotto has the cry? Duccio. Simon Martini, no. No, ox head. Should try teacher. Duccio. No, it's Cimabue. Born in Venice in 1516, by what nickname is the mannerist painter Jacopo Robusti better known? It <laughs> refers to his being the son of a dyer. Yes. Tintoretto, yeah. yeah. Tintoretto. Correct. <laughs> We're going to take a music round now. Your music started here, a live recording of a band. For ten points, please give me the band's name. <laughs> Cortol Della. The Who? It is The Who, yes. <laughs> right, you heard in that music starter, part of The Who's set at the Isle of Wight Festival in August 1970, attended by 600,000 people, widely regarded as the UK's equivalent of Woodstock. Your bonuses are three more acts that performed at the festival. Five points for each you could identify. First, this solo artist. Suzanne, Leonard Cohen. You down. Leonard Cohen. It is Leonard Cohen, yes. Secondly, another solo artist. Like a star, my, my, Donovan. My, Donovan. My, Donovan. Donovan. It was Donovan, yes. And finally, name the composer and band leader here. It's Miles Davis. Yeah. Miles Davis. Miles Davis is correct. Who said that was a misspent you? <laughs> right, ten points for this. In the 1980 play Educating Rita by the British dramatist Willie Russell, what is the name of the US author from whom the title character takes her name? 
It's Rita Mae Brown. Right, ten points for this. Subtitled A Symphony of Horror, which 1922 film by F.W. Murnau features the vampire Count Orlock? St John's Franklin. Nosferatu. Nosferatu is correct. <laughs> three questions on astronomy for your bonuses, St John's. All three answers begin with the same letter. The second brightest star of Orion, its name comes from the Arabic for the giant's shoulder. Uh, Betelgeuse. Uh, Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse is correct. Secondly, a two-word term proposed by the US astronomer Jill Tata for celestial objects larger than a planet but smaller than a star. Brown dwarf. Brown dwarf. Brown dwarf is correct. And finally, a system where two stars orbit around a common centre of gravity, for example, Sirius A and Sirius B. Binary, binary stars. Binary. Uh, binary. Binary stars is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Depicted by Botticelli and Caravaggio, among others, which title figure of a book in the Protestant Apocrypha and the Catholic Bible decapitated the Assyrian general Holofernes? Ah. Old Greenlaw. Judith. Judith is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on pieces first performed in 1870. In each case, name the piece from the description. Firstly, an overture of fantasy by Tchaikovsky inspired by a tragedy by Shakespeare. Hello. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet. Correct. Following the Rheingold, the second of the four operas in Wagner's Ring Cycle. Is it Valkyrie? Oh. Is it the Valkyrie? Is it the Valkyrie? It's the Valkyrie. Got it. That one's the last, isn't it? It's um. Valkyrie. No. The Valkyrie. It is the Valkyrie, yes. And finally, a ballet by Delib, traditionally subtitled The Girl with Enamel Eyes. Lacme. 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 No, it's Coppelia. Ten points for this. What celestial body do all these deities represent? The Shinto god Suki Yomi, the Hindu god Chandra, the Egyptian god Thoth, and the Greek goddess Selene. Got old Greenlaw. Moon. Moon is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on statues in New York that honour the African-American experience. Which 20th century author is represented in Riverside Park by a bronze monolith with a hollow silhouette of a man? The silhouette alludes to his best-known work. It's the Invisible Man. Ralph Ellison. Ralph Ellison. Ralph Ellison. Correct. Born into slavery in around 1820, which leader of the Underground Railroad is represented by a bronze statue in Harlem? Harriet. Not Harriet. Um, Harriet. Harriet. Um, Harriet. Harriet Tubman. 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 Harriet Tubman. Correct. Born in 1899, which jazz pianist and band leader has a statue in Central Park? His compositions include Mood, Indigo and Caravan. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Caravan. Is it Fats Waller? No. Um, um, no, he's a trumpet. He's a pianist. Yeah. Who did Blueberry Hill? Who did Blueberry Hill? Come on. Um, Fats Waller. No. <laughs> Born in 1899. Fats, Fats Waller. No, it's Duke Ellington. Ten points for this. Used to define the standard unit of atomic mass, which isotope forms the overwhelming mass of natural carbon? St John's Franklin. Carbon-14. No, anyone want to buzz from a court hole? I'd love to, but I haven't got an idea. <laughs> it's carbon-12. Ten points for this. In translation from the Italian, The Lying Life of Adults is a 2020 novel by which writer? St John's Lanchester. Eleanor Ferrante. Correct. <laughs> right, your bonuses this time are on UNESCO listed works of the Swiss French architect Le Corbusier. In each case, name the city that is the location of the following buildings. Firstly, in which major Asian capital is the National Museum of Western Art? It's, uh, it's India. It's, um, is it New Delhi? What's, what's the capital of India? It's not Bangalore. Delhi? 
Was it Bangalore? It's the capital of India. No, New Delhi is the capital. No, I know. Are you sure it's in the capital? Yeah, I wonder if it was China. Okay, Delhi. No, it's in Tokyo. The complex du Capitol is located in which purpose built city to the north of Delhi? It is the capital of both Punjab and Haryana states. Is it Chandigarh? Chandigarh. Yeah, Chandigarh. Chandigarh is correct. Which major city on the Mediterranean saw the building of the first unité d'habitation, described as a major prototype of a new housing model? Marseille. Marseille is correct. <laughs> right, we're going to take a picture round now. For your picture starter, you'll see a painting. For ten points, please name the artist. Courtauld Klein. Veronese. It is Veronese, yes. <laughs> Right, firstly, from the 18th century, I want you to tell me who painted this picture of a feast. It's Hogarth. It yeah, is Hogarth, yeah, it is, isn't it's it? Hogarth. Hogarth, it's an election entertainment. Secondly, from the 17th century... Levignon. Jan Stain. Stain, Stain, Jan Stain. Do you think? Yeah. Possibly, not sure. Jan Stain. It is Jan Steen, the Bean Feast. And finally, from the 19th century. It's John Martin. It is John Martin, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. John Martin. It is John Martin Belshazzar's feast. <laughs> right, ten points for this. The symphony orchestra of which British city marked its 100th anniversary in 2020? Its chief conductors having included... St John's Lanchester. Birmingham. Birmingham is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on the films of George Cukor, St John's. Basil Rathbone plays Mr Murdstone in Cukor's 1935 adaptation of which novel by Dickens? Tale of Two Cities. Uh, Tale of Two Cities. No, it's David Copperfield. Featuring an all-female cast, Cukor's 1939 film, The Women, was an adaptation of the play of the same name by which US dramatist? Don't know. That was by Claire Booth Luce. And finally, an adaptation of Patrick Hamilton's play Angel Street, which film of 1944 by Cukor concerns a woman whose husband tries to drive her mad? Oh, um, uh, Gaslight. Gaslight is correct. <laughs> Five minutes ago, ten points for this. Born on Christmas Day in 1908 in Surrey and dying in Manchester in 1999. What name was assumed by Dennis Charles Pratt? Noted as an author, performer and raconteur. Courtauld Marlowe. Uh, Quentin Crisp. Quentin Crisp was correct. Your bonuses this time are on an abbey. The site of the Synod of 664 that aligned Christian practices in Northumbria with those of Rome. Which abbey in Yorkshire was founded by St Hilda in 657? Is it fountains? Maybe fountains. What? Whitby. Oh, Whitby. Where? Whit Whitby. 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 <laughs> Whitby. Whitby is correct. <laughs> Whitby Abbey was also the home to which 7th century English poet? His hymn to God is thought to be the oldest recorded Christian poem in Old English. 7th century. 7th century. Any ideas? Probably. Venerable Bede. To be a friar or something. Venerable Bede. The Venerable Bede. That was Cademan. In which novel of 1897 does an aggressive dog visit the churchyard near Whitby Abbey shortly after arriving in England on the Russian ship Demeter? Dracula. Dracula. Dracula is correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> the root, the lunula and the cuticle are all found on what specific part of the human body? St John's Franklin. The hand. Now you lose five points. <laughs> Caught old Greenlaw. Fingernail. Fingernail or toenail is correct, yes. Right, your bonuses then, Courtauld, are on an adjective. What adjective appears in both a nickname of Charles II and the title of a play by Shakespeare that features the characters Bardolph, Mistress Ford and Justice Shallow? Mary. Is it Mary? Yeah. Mary. Mary is correct. The point about Merry England is that it was about the most unmerry period in our history. These words, delivered in a lecture by a fictional academic, appear in which novel of 1954? Is it, is it Lucky Jim? Jim. Lucky, Jim. Lucky, Jim. Lucky Jim. Correct. The Merry Widow and the Land of Smiles are operators by which composer born in the Austro-Hungarian Empire in 1870? Oh, no. I guess. Do you want to guess? Just... 
Oh, no, I did. Is it Alice Strauss? Yeah. Come on, let's have an answer. Let's try Strauss. Strauss. No, it's Franz Lahar. Ten points for this. Published in August 2020, which novel by Ali Smith was described in one review as the first... St John's Lanchester. Winter. No, you lose five points. First serious coronavirus novel. It is the fourth and last in her seasonal quarter. Got old Klein. Awesome. No, it's summer. <laughs> Ten points for this. What single digit appears in front of the decimal point if the numbers after it are... One, four, one... St John's Jack. Three. Three is correct, yes. <laughs> it's the first three digits of pi, of course. So your bonuses are on names suggestive of winter. Name the English county in which each of the following is located. Firstly, the villages of Winterbourne Houghton, Winterbourne Stickland and Winterbourne Whitechurch all lie near the town of Blandford Forum. Is it Dorset or Dorset? It's not... Uh, Dorset. Dorset is correct. And secondly, the resort of Winterton-on-Sea near the village of Hemsby, an area susceptible to coastal erosion. Um, Lincoln, Lincoln or Suffolk? Norfolk or Suffolk? Not a, um, Suffolk. Suffolk? No, it's Norfolk. And finally, the village of Radwinter, a few miles southwest of Steeple Bumpstead. Cambridgeshire. Uh, Cambridgeshire. No, it's Essex. Ten points for this. Of the eight English or British kings with the regnal name Edward, which had the longest reign? St John's Jack. The first. No. Court old, one of you can buzz. Court old Klein. The fourth. No, it was the third. Right, ten points for this. Reported in January 2020 to contain particles at least 7 billion years old, the Murchison meteorite was discovered in 1969 in which country of the Southern Hemisphere in a town near the Murray-Darling Basin? St John's Lanchester. Australia. Australia is correct. You get these bonuses, they're on the road, you know, the wrong. St John's College Oxford have 135. Port Oldest have 180, though. Well, St John's, you, you, you led in the start and then you faded a bit. But uh, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, Courtauld, I know you didn't expect to get this far, <laughs> but bad luck. You're going to be in the final. I hope you can join us next time for the second semi-final. But until then, it's goodbye from St John's College, Oxford. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from the Courtauld Institute of Art. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you.